Seven minutes after nine o'clock, welcome to Talk, Talk Top Talkers. Uh, great panel today. Looking forward to uh, discussing a very interesting issue. We're talking about double standards when it comes to sexual assault. Uh, joining us today, uh, Cody Jeffries is here from Magic 100. Catherine Dines also from Magic 100. And there he is again, Steve Lloyd from yeah, the Team the wardrobe change, sorry. No, 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 that's, that's fine. Boy, that's girl, fine. boy, girl. Situation uh, is this, uh, and I'm sure you've heard about this story in Toronto that occurred over the weekend. Toronto police are now searching for four heavy-set, short women in black miniskirts who they allege sexually assaulted a 19-year-old man in the city's entertainment district last Friday night. Apparently what had happened is this young man met up with these ladies at a club, uh, asked for a lift home or worked out a lift home, and they sexually assaulted him in a parking lot, allegedly, in the in back of a car. Mm -hmm. That had a lot of people making fun of the whole situation yesterday. What are your initial thoughts as a woman, is there a double standard when it comes to sexual assaults? Oh, yes, absolutely. I, we, I mean, we tend to, you know, we go... In every aspect. If, if we go to the rippers, excuse the language, but if we go... <laughs> if we go and we're hooping and hollering and stuff, if the guys acted that way, you know, right. we come down on them. We're right. like, that's unacceptable, but right. we get crazy and stuff. And, and, but, you know, with this situation, no means no. But yeah. I think I think it happens a lot more than maybe we hear about because Same men are different. Home. Steve, is it possible, really, for for a 19-year-old man? Let's say, and you know, I, I'm sure they meet up with women in clubs all the time, right? So he meets these four ladies. Mm. Is it possible that he can't break away from these women and is sexually assaulted in the back of a car? Well, we, we, when you read the story, they say four heavy-set women. Yes. Um, and then we're talking about women who are apparently between 180 and 200 yeah. pounds. Uh, how, but we don't know. How big is this guy? We don't know. So, I, I, you know, that's probably part of the story we need to know to, to really make a judgment on right. that. Right, right. Yeah, but I, don't, I know the overall story um, is, is really the double standard here. And it, it, it happens. It's less, it's not as frequent the other way around here. Right. But it certainly does happen. But I think the key part of the story was... Uh, you know, it, it's emasculating for, for, for a man, I guess, and maybe that's why, you know, we don't hear it very often. You don't hear, you hear the man step up and say, hey, I was taken advantage of by women. Well, I mean, seriously, uh, even when it comes to uh, men who are sexually assaulted as boys by other men in, mm -hmm. in you know, um, in the clergy and in, in relatives and all that sort of thing, it's years later in many cases when fellas come out and actually say that this happened to them. Because they don't want people to think the wrong thing about them because right. it's always the fault is laid on the man or right. the woman or whatever the person that's the weaker person. Right. Didn't this happen in Disclosure, the movie as well, Michael Douglas? Yes. And, uh, yeah. So quite possible then that this uh, this fella is telling the truth and these, yeah, these sort of things happens. actually happen? I, I read a story about the founder of Second Cup in Canada. Yes. Born and raised in Montreal. Yes. He, a woman, uh, a cam, uh, working on a political campaign. He was sexually assaulted. He ended up an alcoholic, all kinds of issues by because a, of it. By a woman. It yes, wasn't, it that's wasn't true. A, a homosexual sort of uh, uh, incident. No, it was by a woman. Initially, he had other issues after that, but that was an initial incident that really messed him up. And then he talked publicly about it because yeah. it was, you know. Is it something that men don't want to talk about because you talk about the embarrassment? Absolutely. Of saying I, yeah. out loud, yeah. I was sexually assaulted by a woman or group of women. Yeah, I, I assume that's the case. And, and to me, when I read that story, that was kind of the key to it here. Well, may, maybe a reason why. I don't. It's obvious. It's not as prevalent the other way around. I, no, but I think maybe it's a little more than than we, we hear about. Than what we hear about. I think yeah. you're absolutely, absolutely. right. Yeah. How would you feel in the situation? Well, you're I man. just can't. Uh, to be honest with you. The type of person I am, and I have no idea, clue who this, this gentleman is or what type of guy he is. First of all, I don't think I'd be asking for a ride home from a bar, from a club, uh, for, from four women. And nor would I get in a car, I don't think, with people who are drinking and I just met and someone's getting behind them. I don't think I'd put myself in that situation. Were I in that situation? I'd fight like hell to get out of it. Mm -hmm. and, and was he inebriated? Was he like yeah, I don't know? Like how, what was the situation? But he has actually come forward and yeah. said that this happened, and now there's a search on for. Her. Mm -hmm. This is what makes it funny to a lot of people for mm -hmm. yeah. women in short black skirts yeah. who are between 180 and 200 pounds. It makes it funny. Well, well, that's that's the problem with the story. That's the only detail we have of any of the parties involved. Short, big women. 
Yeah. We don't know how big he is. We don't know how drunk he was. We, we don't know any, like, we don't know all these other Maybe circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, exactly. exactly. So yeah. we, the only detail we have is that one. He might be one of these types of guys who befriends women at clubs and hangs out with them. Who knows? And met the wrong bunch and of women. The Maybe they were bunch. driving a Mercedes, you know? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Interesting, though. I appreciate your time and your thoughts. Thanks for joining us today.